Hey gentlemen, how we doing? Today I'm going to be doing a test shave with two razors. One is a J.A. Hinkles. It's a 4 8 razor. Uh, seemed to hold up really good. Uh, it shaved really good last time I, I used it. This one here is the W.H. Morlay 222 Clover brand. It's a little sweetheart. Um, I'm opting to use these razors because the larger razors I got, like the Double Duck or the Philharmonic, just too, you know, I've got to be really cautious. I'm going to be using two different brushes today. This is the, uh, the Maestro from Eric, and this is uh, this is a Rod Neep that I got from uh, from uh, Jam and G.I. James a while back. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the Thayers there's a chance. Uh, last time I used it in a in a uh, scuttle, and the bottom it was just too narrow to really accept a brush that was, you know, had a big laugh like that. So I got two different two different. Uh, get the dimple out, and this one here it comes from um, Scott Canard. It's kind of old. Uh, so the other soap I'm going to be using is going to be the Tobacco Leaf uh, from uh, Tobacco Taylor of Old Bond Street. I'm going to be using so uh, different soaps on each side of my face. I just want to see how that other one works. I'm going to finish off with Floyd Suave. I'm really digging this again. Uh, I've been wearing it like all week. Um, and I'm looking for even for another bottle. Since I can't find another bottle yet, I got the bottle of this. So, let's have a little snort before we get started. <clears throat> and also, in my Guinness Extra Stout glass, I have Guinness Extra Stout. So, yeah, I used to own a, uh, I used to own a retail water purification business here in Colorado, and uh, of course I'm a construction worker, uh, and that's where I met my wife at that store. So uh, it's kind of funny because. Um, and I was like 23 years ago, and uh, this is a shave soap. You know, if you didn't notice, you just squeeze it a little bit like that. Uh, and uh, we got together, slippery little son of a bitch. <laughs> and uh, she took me to this woman's house, and you know, women. Women are like really like in tune with their health. Sometimes they can be a little hypochondriac, you know what I mean? Anyway, so she takes me take me to this woman's house who's a chiropractor. Let me smell that really nice when you open that up. Really nice. Uh, so she takes me there and uh, my wife was supposed to bring uh all the vitamins and shit she's taking. And, you know, I'm not thinking too much of it right now. But I am susceptible to being being a little skeptical. So, all right, let's use the Maestro in the Thayers. And so, uh, I was sitting out and she took her and put her on a chiropractor table. And she said, uh, she was sitting there. She said, um, hold out, you know, whatever vitamin C, whatever the fuck it was. And my wife was taking like 15, 16 different things. You know, it's just, I just think it's ridiculous. You know, why you need to take that much food, take, take that much vitamins and crap. And so, uh, the lady grabbed her arm circle and touched her head like this. She goes, you need to double up on this. 
she went through the whole back. I was, I fucking went out to the car. I said, fuck this, hunt. this is ridiculous. And uh, was she a witch or what? So, um, I, I got her out of doing that shit. That's for sure. Seems like it's kind of a thirsty soap. Uh, so, uh, check it out. So, she wanted me to, the, I called her the rabbit lady. I didn't call her that at the time because I didn't know. But she asked me to replace the front door, entry door on her house. So, I went over there. Taking some work here. So, I went over there. And I laid some tools out on a tarp on her, on her, uh, on her rug, you know what I mean? So, okay, here comes um, the other little Bond Street. It's a great little brush. Uh, and I pulled the pins out of the hinge. I grabbed the door and I took it out and I leaned it against my, my uh, lumber rack outside on my truck. Came back in there with this big fucking rabbit right on top of my tools. And I go, what in the fuck? It's had the door open, you know what I mean? And I go, uh, see this ladder's up much nicer than that fair shit. Uh, so I said, uh, hey. A big rabbit got in here is on my toolbox. <laughs> All this shit. She come downstairs and goes, Oh, that's my rabbit. He likes you. Likes me. So I'd like to get him and his buddies and make a nice pot of rabbit haunches. <laughs> No, listen, she said, come on up, I'll show you, I'll show you the rest of them. And I started to smell, you know. Okay, so she had four bedrooms upstairs. They all had the kitty gates in front of them. Hay in every room. Big fucking rabbits in every fucking room. It blew me away. Anyway, so that's why I called her the rabbit lady. So some guy comes into the water store. Somebody comes into the water store, him and I are shooting the shit, and I started telling about the rabbit lady. He goes, oh, I know who that is, man. He named her Dan. Go, yep, he knows her. I said, those rabbits are great. Imagine making love on a bed with a bunch of big rabbits around you. Get the fuck out of here. So I ended up doing some helping with some construction stuff. Seems like it's doing okay. It's not very, it's kind of a cold lather because I don't have my scuttle. But, ah, uh, and you know, it's kind of cold outside. So, you know. Um, that is just how it is. You know, I do videos. I don't really have anything new to say. You know, I'm not, you know, I did a honing video, but it's like, you know, all it is is me rubbing stones. I'm rubbing. All right, I'm going to do the Morlay on my right side. Freshly honed, freshly strapped. This is a razor. These two razors I did, I honed on the uh, Shapton glass. Finished with my chain out. Uh, mm. Um, feels, feels okay, I guess. It's cutting well enough, but, um, this is, uh, this mustache situation I got going on here is a little tedious to shave. 
I love the way it looks, I just do. But uh, this side is a little bit thicker than this side. But one slip and it's all over, you know what I mean? And this right here is taking like, it's like three months growth right here. So, might be over honed because I set the bevel on the 1k and each four and uh, four and 10k shaft and I do 30 each and uh, uh, so okay to the Taylor of old, old Bond Street and the Memoir Lane. Great scent. Look how much creamier this stuff is, man. One thing with this mustache also is I have got to put a good wax on it. And I have this stuff, God dang, when Jam and Jed James came to Denver, I met with him, he gave me this wax. And uh, still some in there. Uh, so, but uh, I'm learning I can make my own wax if I want to. And I could give it the scent of uh, cherry blossoms or uh, or uh, or anything I want. All right, see the hinkles. I'm just thinking what razor I used. Uh, I'll put this down there so I don't spill it. Other than that, I'm looking for a new Floyd uh, scent. Anyway, so I found a good deal on on uh, Floyd Sense, and um, I'm going. Okay, well, you know, the price is too low, and I have an, a situation with it because I just don't. Uh, I don't believe. That's part of my skepticism. Skepticism, and. Uh, so this one place, ah, it was it was a good enough price. I, I would have bought two, and so um, I uh, I Google them, look for reviews. Everybody hates this fucking place, and that's um that's a trip because Google is our friend. Yes, indeed. 
and people should pay attention to uh, what other people think about uh, certain businesses, you know. So let's go back and make us all just flat bullshit. I should take it back. <laughs> uh, I was uh, doing a background check on somebody. I got to the end. They, they don't tell you the price. So I got to the end. It was twenty four ninety nine. I go fuck you. And I backed out of it. And these people knew my debit card number. I never gave it to them. They gave me their debit card number. I mean, they, they had my debit card number and they tried to charge me four times. But my bank, without me saying anything, mailed their asses four times and they blocked them. And, uh, which is cool because I had a, I had a, uh, I had a poll, uh, <clears throat> emailed to me from my bank because I was in there. And, uh, You know, and I gave him a rave re review because, you know, I've been with this bank for a while. It's Wells Fargo. And they were, they've always been really good, really good. Walk in there and, hey, how you doing, man? A lot of them know who I am. And all this shit. So, um, so yeah, you know, a, 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 this review is a great review. And, uh, Someone from the bank actually called me and thanked me for that. Because I mentioned in there what happened with that, that scam or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I called her or she called me. Anyway, whatever. All right, let's go to Taylor Road Bond Street in the Hankles now. So I've been considering doing something kind of different <laughs> because my nose itches like tickle like tick I get the some of these little electric clippers and clip my hair nose hairs and all this shit and just drives me nuts itching I always think it's my mustache sticking up because it'll stick up but it's not and um I was watching these guys watching this barber, <laughs> you know. He had this fucking dumbass. <clears throat> yeah. 
and he, this guy, was sitting in a chair, and, uh, you know, he got a haircut and all that shit, and the guy came back with two swappies with the, uh, some wax in it, and yeah, he shoved it right in the nose, both of them. And you go, it's trying to be cool on his phone, you know, and, uh, that fucking guy. Well, the wax dried up. And he's going. He's going. Big pony up. Barbara walked up to him. Grabbed a hold of that swabby. Wham! And pulled that fucking thing out of his hair on it. And crap, I was like. I don't know how far it was in his nose, but I'll tell you what, that's too much for me. And this guy freaked. But that's one of those guys who, uh, His initials carved on the side of his hair, and you know, waxed his must eyebrow and shit. You know, one of those kind of guys. I used to think I was vain because I shaved and slicked my hair back into a pompadour, but not like these guys. Mm -mm. I like the uh, uh, I think I like the Guinness Extra Stout probably better than any beer. Now Guinness Stout is flat tasting to me. It tastes like it's kind of got a diluted flavor, you know. But this stuff has like a full flavor, which is pretty good. So I'm looking forward to some good changes in my life here soon. So, um, I'm actually looking very forward to, to spring. Spring. That spring sprung, you know? Because I got a lot of stuff I want to do. I want to, uh, I gotta take out everything out of my shed, go through it, shit can what I don't want. So it's good. Put up some shells, we'll reorganize all that, you know. Because right now <clears throat> I have so much stuff in there. I got a new generator I'm storing there too. And uh it's just, uh, it's just not functional because it's too crowded. Whoops, I'm gonna use my whiskey for an aftershave. Well, shit, look at the color. Look at the color, huh? <laughs> As long as I don't drink the aftershave. <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers this guy. He's cool as hell. Oh, my. Oh, I love this stuff. Man, Floyd Swappy. It's got a much different scent than the others. This is a nice scent. Anyway, so... Um, he had a, 
He had all those big bottles of the Floyd Blue. And uh, he fucking, crazy fucker. He, uh, he had a, a tonomizer he put on it. <laughs> he did a shave. He, 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 he rinsed off, did all this stuff. And he got the damn autonomizer. It goes, and that shit fucking sprayed from the his nipple to the crown of his head. I told him, man, you can spray a car with that shit. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, man, this is Guy Solo's Gentleman's Edge doing a night shave. And I'm feeling good, smelling good. Everything is cool in life, man. So remember, uh, take it easy. And every day is a good day for a shave, man. You take care, man. Later.